We've looked previously at how to diagram sentences when you have more than one subject or more than one predicate, where you have that kind of branching out structure. Uh, one of the things we also want to look at now is what happens when you're putting whole sentences together. So we'll start by looking at compound sentences. Compound sentences are sentences where the two sentences are put together, and they are put together either using something like a semicolon that holds them together, or using one of the coordinating conjunctions, um, which are showing that the two sentences that you're connecting are of equal weight to each other, equal importance. And one of the ways to remember those uh, coordinating conjunctions is the acronym FANBOYS. When you look at those, uh, if you remember this, you don't even need to remember the technical term uh, coordinating conjunction if you remember that acronym because there are only seven of them, which are for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. So when you're connecting sentences with these connectors, uh, what you're saying is the two sentences are equally important to each other. There isn't one that's subordinate to the other. So if we have two sentences that are connected using one of those, you get something like this. The master was a fat, healthy man but he turned very pale. So what we have here, we have two sentences that are stuck together. The first sentence, the master was a fat, healthy man. The second sentence, he turned very pale and they're connected using a comma plus one of the fanboys. So we know now we're going to have two sentences to look at, two frameworks. And the question then is, how are we going to connect them? So let's start by drawing our two frameworks. So we start with the master. was, and then we have a subject complement, a fat, healthy man. So that's our first sentence that we're connecting. Now we have another sentence that we've connected to it. So once again, we'll draw our basic framework and fit our subjects and verbs in or subject and verb in this case. So we have he, and then we have turned, and then once again we have a subject complement. He turned pale, and very modifies pale. So now what are we going to do to show the connection between these two sentences? And we know we have the word but. We're going to have to fit in. Where does that go? And the way to do that is to connect these two sentences. And once again, because the verb is the core of the sentences, the verb is actually what you're going to use to tie them together. So you have a dotted line here, and a line, and then a dotted line down to the verb on that sentence, and this is where our conjunction goes, our but. So this is how we show a compound sentence, where we have this, and you'll see, as I mentioned before, the verbs are the core of the sentence, so when in doubt, if you're trying to figure out where it applies in the sentence, usually the verbs are where you're going to apply something. So this is what you do if you have for, and, nor, but, or, yet, or so, connecting two sentences, 
The link is right here in the middle.